So I got an email from somebody claiming to be the director of The Amazing Bulk. Effectively threatening me. Um, saying that I had to take the video down. Um, I realized very quickly that this man, or woman, this creature who is um, <clears throat> impersonating the director. I figured out pretty quick that it wasn't the director because the actual director um, sent me a message on YouTube from his YouTube channel saying, keep up the good work, like the video, thanks for the exposure and whatnot. Very nice of him, I put it on Twitter if you're interested to see that. So I'm going to take you guys through the uh, emails here because I... I I, th I thought I'd just get some revenge on the troll, mm -hmm. you know? I thought I'm pretty I'd... excited for this. Yeah. You guys are going to love where I take this. So this is his first email. From the guy, the fake troller. Hello, I'm sending you this email to inform you that your video infringes on my copyrighted material and I'll be sending a copyright claim if this video is not taken down within the next seven days. I'll give you until March the 24th, yada yada yada. And then I'll take no legal action if you take it down. I replied with, hi there Lewis, may I suggest watching this video before you continue, it's the uh, Your Movie Sucks fair use video. He replied to that with, I have watched the video you have sent me, however the video you have made on my film is not fair use, as you use an excessive amount of footage from my film to slander the contents of it. To which I replied, slander implies that my intent was either false or malicious, which I feel like is a bit of a stretch to assume. W would you say my an analysis was unfair or unjust? If so, please explain to me what you th think was malicious or false. At this point, I was still playing along as if this could be real, because you never know with some of these people. I mean, Derek emailed me. But Alex, through making your video, you're giving my film a bad reputation and dissuading the viewers to watch my film. I'll still be going ahead with taking your video down. You're implying that, that only positive reviews should be allowed to operate under fair use, which is obviously not quite how it works. Did you see the incident that was caused by Derek's, by the director Derek Savage trying to filter negative reviews of his movie called Cat Saves the Kids? No, I have not seen this incident, but if it is important to the issue, please tell me in detail. Then, from there, I was like, okay, I'm just going to leave this for a bit, see if he replies again. Because I was starting to get fishy, because I, I was thinking to myself, why would he give me a time limit? Yeah, <clears throat> that's fishy from the get-go. Yeah, why would he give me a time limit? Because, mm -hmm. like, Derek, he just took the video down immediately, you know, mm -hmm. with a strike. Because if it was his and he really felt that way, he would do Because he wanted to appeal to you, like, reasonably and try and hook you in more with that in some way. Yeah, that was the thought process. So I didn't And he obviously has no power to take the video down himself. Yeah, yeah. that's the main thing. Um, then later, because I didn't reply, Alex is now nearing the end of the day, and I've seen you have still not taken down your video. Your video is not fair use and you're breaking the law. Didn't reply to that one. So he sent another one. After taking a look at your channel, I am shocked at how many directors you have stolen from and using their films to promote your hate speech. And if the video containing my film is not taken down, I'll report your channel as well as copyright striking your video. Now here was when I was like, I told you, Ruben, I'm going to mess with this guy now, because I know. Because mm -hmm. uh, by now, the real director had messaged yeah. me, and I knew for a fact that this guy was false. So I said, please don't report my channel, Louis. I don't know if it's Louis or Louis. You never know, do you, with the way it's spelled? Yeah, I, I don't I don't know. I'm not, I think, Louis. Yeah, Louis, Louis, <laughs> I don't fucking know. You're being purposefully difficult now. Alex, this is your last chance to take down your video, as the deadline is nearing. You should take it down before I take legal action against you. Do you have PayPal? How about how about we 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 say I send you a healthy settlement and all of this can be forgotten? Well, I suppose I could let you use my film in return for money, but it all depends on how much we're speaking. Sure, just give me your PayPal and I'll send you whatever I'll send you over whatever you feel is fair. I have to ask how. I, oh yeah, and then he replied before I got a chance. I have to, I'd have to ask how much you made off the video using my film to decide the amount. Let's just say five hundred dollars. That's more than fair. And then he said, seems about fair. However, I do not have a PayPal account, so I'll get back to you when I have. Okay, then. Feel free to contact me about any concerns about this deal or whole situation. Will do. I would also like to quickly question your change of tone from saying that your video was fair used to willingly licensing my film. Just found it a bit strange. Sick of drama. Would like this to be over as soon as possible. Right, what, what details of my PayPal? Because he, he left Rage is now obviously making a PayPal account. Mm -hmm. What details of my PayPal do I need to share with you in order for the money to be sent? Sorry, I'm unfamiliar with PayPal. Email associated with the PayPal is all I need to send the money. I see. Well, the email is the same as the one I'm using now. Contact me if there are any issues. Yeah, actually, I do have a major issue. <laughs> and what would that be? Yeah, so how much of a fool do you take me to be? I spoke to the real Louis earlier today who told me to keep up the good work and also thank me for the exposure I'm giving this film. His film. He's informed. He's been informed about how you're impersonating him, and he's contacted Google about it. The gig is up. I know this is a troll, 
but is this the troll I'm thinking of or is this someone new? Because this has happened like twice before mm -hmm. who was the same guy. Well, Alex, you got me. Of course, I am a fan and I was planning on giving the money back if you were to give me any. I had no bad intentions. Alex, I love your work and I apologize for any harm I may have caused you or Louis. Louis, I, I really don't know. Please inform him on my apologies. Please accept this, otherwise I don't think I'll be able to sleep at night counting back on this event. Are you the same guy who impersonated Derek and Rashad's cousin? I'll, I'll make a video admitting to my foolish acts if it means anything. Answer my question. Is this the same person? No, I did, I did not impersonate Daddy Derek or this other guy, so it's someone new. Mm -hmm. Unless that's a lie. I still don't know about that. Nah, they'd probably own up to it. Cause it's <clears> like, yeah, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> he seemed pretty Good proud times, eh? Of the one. Yeah. You say you had no bad intentions, but impersonating a director and threatening me is the exact opposite of that. Why would you do something like this? Why would you go out of your way to troll me and stress me out if you like me? You know, I don't know, Alex. I guess I just wanted to feel like a big man. I will do anything <laughs> you want of me to repay you. Repay me by apologizing and promising to never do this to anyone again. It's very stupid and is a waste of time for everyone involved. You could also get in serious trouble if you impersonated the wrong person while doing something like this. Find something more constructive to do, yeah? Righto. I'm deeply sorry for the damages I have caused you, and I will never impersonate anyone again. This has taught me a lesson. And I have to thank you for that. Could you also please tell Louis, Louis, I really- Just say fucking- just commit to one. Louis. Because I like no, Louis CK. Keep, keep, keep saying both. <laughs> yes, yeah, that I am sorry, or I Just could perhaps have his contact right. details to send it myself. I will tell him I don't hold, hold grudges, so I have nothing against you. Just realize that this is a really fucking weird thing to do to someone. Sort it out. He said his name was Sam. Good luck to you, Sam, if that is your real name. Mm -hmm. He finally just said, I know it's strange. Hopefully what I've done hasn't disturbed your content creation or your personal life too much. Keep up the great work, Alex. <clears throat> what? Yeah, what? Um... So why do you think people, like, do this? Why do you think people go out of their way to do this? Because well, they go people go out of their way to do this, you know? They the shit that I'm dealing with. Yeah, yeah. Today. yeah. It's like... You know, I actually have a special <clears throat> when you said, when you went into the bit how much you, the food you take me to be, when it was like, I have one major concern. I thought it was just going to be, I have diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought I, you were going to do that. It. I would have loved to. I really would But you've got to make progress sometimes. You know, you just got to can the jokes and but make Jesus. progress. You would have thought you'd say, like, no, once you offered him money. Like, yeah. Like, that's a pretty scumbag. Yeah. yeah. That's a really scumbag thing to do. Yeah. I, I What's wasn't your point, sir? Just read that. No, I'm done. I wasn't sure what, like... Obviously, of course, I was like... I, the, I got this email about three hours once the original one went up, so that was also suspicious, because why would the, the uh, director have found it so quick? Um, unless he, like, knew about it already, mm -hmm. that it was in... That I was working on it. Which, um, I hope it's Daisy. <clears throat> Don't break your fucking form. It's alright. No cracks. They're pretty, pretty strong. Just things. explode. You've got a really carpet. weird, the screens on these are different to the screens on the older iPhones. Are they? Well, they're stronger. Well, they just, if you knew if you, like, tried both of them, obviously I had an old yeah. iPhone. It feels like there's, like, another, like, a layer over this of tougher shit, as opposed to, like... Yeah. Hang on, let me just move that off of the chair. It's pissing me off. <laughs> As opposed to just straight glass, so they don't seem to just go smash immediately. But, whatever. So yeah, seems just kind of a weird thing to do to me. Like, especially if you like someone. Yeah. Like, that's the weirdest part. And they say it's not malicious. I know. Like, like it's just like, what the- why? Inherently, you get out of doing it's malicious. This? Like, you know, you could just- if you wanted to, like, interact with me, you could just send mm -hmm. me a message. You know, and probably get around to it eventually. I don't know. It's like, come on. It's not a very nice thing to do. Not a very respectful thing no, to do. It's really not a nice thing to do. Yeah, because like obviously it's gonna freak me out. Did, did he want did he want your video taken down? No, he said he liked my videos and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but he threatened that he would, pro probably yeah. hoping that you would out of fear that he yeah. would. So so if I had if I was gullible enough to believe him from the get go and I'd just taken it down. Mm hmm then what? Would he have revealed it and then said, Sorry, just a prank, bro. Yeah. Yeah, the first time someone did it to me, they did the, It's just a prank, bro thing. I hate that stuff. And then I called him a cunt. <clears throat> it's pretty pathetic. Yeah, I mean, like, come on. There are far better things you could do with yeah. your time. Yeah, he made a fucking PayPal to steal your money. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Saying, I was going to give it back. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, whatever. As if I was gonna fucking do that though. He's probably like fourteen or something though. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Probably not at all. 
doesn't so yeah, that was shit. an interesting little escapade is that a thing you handled that well yeah yeah now i'm so cynical of like anyone claiming yeah. to be anyone <clears throat> and like he never even had like any proof that it was him at all so mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever he just happened to get the right google um email thing to make it somewhat like realistic from the get-go